Hey everyone, uh, this is the fifth assignment and the last assignment of the week and the last video of the week. IXL N12, it's about a weekly review. It's reviewing properties of all of the quadrilaterals that we have learned so far. So you might need your notes for this one uh, that you took off of the other videos, hopefully. I know you didn't, by the way. Uh, so, but you will need to have all that knowledge to get this one done. It's not that it is hard, it's that you need, you, you have uh, many things to remember for this assignment, unlike the other ones. It's not just one or two things, it's all of them together, combined. So I really hope that you took any notes uh, on the other videos. Okay, let's get started. So this one here, we have a parallelogram. CG is given, I, I think I need to pick another color because that's already a blue figure that will look, that will look weird. So CG is 17S minus 2. Let's find that first. CG is over here. 17S minus 2. And then EG equals to 2S plus 28. EG is right here, 2S plus 28. Find the value of S in parallelogram C, D, E, F. So when we have a parallelogram, diagonals bisect each other. So F, D, that's a diagonal, it bisects E, C, which means it cuts it in two equal pieces. So one of those pieces is 2S plus 28. And the other one of those pieces is 17s minus 2, and they should be equal. I have like terms. Let's deal with the variables first. I will subtract 2s from both sides. 28 goes down. It equals to 15s minus 2. And let's deal with the number. Plus 2, plus 2. That makes 28 plus 2 is 30. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking about. That's 30. It equals to 15s. To get the s by itself, divide everything by 15. So s equals to 2. So you can take an educated guess when you see this sort of a figure, but you should definitely put this, just locate these two and see if they're equal. Usually they're going to be equal. So you can, you, you, can, you can tell whether those sides are going to be equal or not, and then go from there, figure out what your variable is. Okay, moving on to another question. I am going to go back. Because this one, let me see, EF and EH, it's the same question. I don't know why. It's another level. Okay, now we have a rectangle. Let's work on this one. Okay, CG and DG are given. CG is right here. And DG. It's, they are equal, these two should be equal. Okay, uh, it's, to be honest, it's all of them, like this one here and that one here, those are equal as well. All four of these are equal. So, 8V plus 80 equals to V plus 87. Subtract 1V. 7v plus 80 equals 87, and subtract 80, 7v equals to 7, divide everything by 7, so v equals to 1. So that's for the rectangle. Let's see if we have a rhombus or, okay, there we go. Uh, these might be the ones that you need the help uh, the most. Let me see. Or not. This is not the kind that I was thinking about. BAC is our question. Angle BAC. 
let's highlight that angle, start from A, go to A, start from B, go to A, and then C, the one in the middle is your angle. So, okay, one of the properties of a rhombus is that when you have let me see how to when you have a diagonal it cuts the angles in equal pieces like ca is a diagonal it goes from one side to the opposite to from one corner to the opposite corner so it cuts angle a in two equal pieces what does that mean so if this green angle is x degrees this one here is x degrees as well we learned about this in the video that i recorded for the rhombus so and here is another property of a rhombus. All of the sides are equal. So I don't need to put that tick marks on all of the sides because I only care about triangle A, D, C right now. So these two sides are going to be equal because all of the sides are equal when we have a rhombus. Uh, so look at that triangle ADC. What kind of triangle is that? Isn't it isosceles? Because two sides are equal. And eventually that's going to mean two angles are equal. Like this one being X degrees. Now in that triangle, the interior angles will add up to 180 degrees. One of them is 118. The other two are X degrees. Let's just put them all together x plus x plus 118 must be equal to 180 degrees now to get the x by itself or let's just combine the x's together I have 2x plus 118 let's just do this first and now we subtract 118 2x would be equal to 62 Divide everything by 2. X equals 31. But make sure that the X is what your question was. I don't want you to just type 31 and end up with the wrong answer because you need to take this, plug it in, and solve it for something else. So our question was angle BAC. Angle BAC was X anyways. So our answer is 31. Yes, that was correct. Okay, let, let me look for another example in here. We don't need that 92. I don't even know what that is going to be. That's easy. Okay. QT and ST parallelogram, they are going to be the same. Set them up equal, solve it. It's just like number one. Okay, this is a parallelogram. Okay, it's a simple question. I'm not going to do it, but I will show you what to do. It says, find the value of W in parallelogram. So we do know this is a parallelogram. That means opposite sides are equal. What does that mean? Like these two are equal. Set them up equal and solve. They just gave you that, that W plus 30 to see if you know that what sides you should set them up equal. You're not going to set W plus 30 equal to something else. That's, that's going to be nonsense because we don't see anything right across from that one so we can set it up equal to so this one set them up equal to solve it for w put your number in the box uh, looking for another example we have a rhombus all of the sides are equal so basically you set these two equal to each other because when you have a rhombus this is what you have all sides are the same so 19x this is going to be the last question because uh, I don't think there's going to be any other hard type of a question subtract 4x from both sides left side is 15x right side is 30 get the x by itself don't do this that's not how you get the x by itself uh, divide everything by 15 so x would be equal to 2 but that's not your question your question is wz wz is over here this is WZ. Well, how do we find this? It equals to either one of the sides. You can either plug this 2 in for XY or YZ. 
they're all gonna be the same anyways like let's just plug it in over here 19 times x we figured x was 2 so this side is 38 so this question mark must be 38 but let's just double check and then plug in this x into another one and see what happens this is 4 times 2 because that's what the x value is plus 30 4 times 2 is 8 plus 30 is 38 so all of the sides are going to be the same anyways figure out one of them the others are the same so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching hit the thumbs up if you like the video uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you still did not do it yet uh, that way you can get notifications every time I upload a new video uh, once again thanks for watching and I will see you in another video